It's the most wonderful time of the year. The... Do you love geography? Do you want a chance to visit Washington, D.C.? Would you like to win a $50,000 scholarship? If you answered yes, then the Geography B might be for you. See your social studies teacher for a form by January 10th. Attention Timberwolves, now is the time to pick up a parent checklist in the counseling office if you wish to be screened for the Gifted and Talented program for the school year 2017 through 2018. If you are already in some GT classes and want to add more GT courses, you may pick up a request for additional GT service form. All forms must be complete, signed, and returned by 2.30 p.m. on Tuesday, January 10th, 2017. Late forms cannot be accepted. KDISD is having a digital citizenship video photo meme contest. You or your team of no more than four have an opportunity to not only show your creativity and skills, but also win a prize while promoting positive digital citizenship. The junior high topic is focus, friendliness, online footprint, cyberbullying, useful information, and social media. Alone or with a team of friends, make a video or photo meme representing focus. Video should be three minutes maximum in length. Videos should be school appropriate and not use other people's work, photos, words, or ideas. Photo memes should be one submission per person or team. Please submit a digital copy and printed copy. Digital photos should be in JPEG format and print should be 5 times 7 up to 8 times 10. Entries will be judged on creativity, quality, and support of the theme. Winners of each contest will receive prizes and their work will be shown to students at every school in KDISD during digital, digital Citizenship Week. The deadline to register is Friday, December 16th. QR codes with registration forms have been posted in the library. Registration forms should be returned to the school librarian no later than Friday, December 16th, with a parent's or guardian's signature. Final video or photo submission is Monday, January 9th, 2017. Good morning, T-Wolves. You have the opportunity to wear pajamas and slippers this Friday. Bring $1 for pajamas or $1 for slippers, or $2 total if you want to wear both. The money made will be donated to Operation Teddy Cop to help special needs students have a very Merry Christmas. PJ and slipper wristbands can be purchased during lunch starting this Wednesday. In order to wear your school-appropriate pajamas and slippers on Friday, you must wear your wristbands. Sorry, lost wristbands will not be replaced. Don't forget, $2 buys you a comfy Friday plus brighten someone's holiday. Joy, we all have those days when it seems like nothing is going our way. We thought we hit the snooze but actually shut off the alarm. We scarf down breakfast and run out the door just to see the bus pull away. We finally sit down in second period, and guess what? Pop quiz. You make it to rehearsal, which is where you realize that your French horn is still next to your dining room table. Listen, it's easy to let stuff like this get us off track, or worse, make us monsters ready to bite the head off of the next person who asks, hey, how's it going? What if we had a plan for when days like this or even moments like this happen? What if we could choose to face the things that don't go our way with, here it is, joy. Life is bigger than any individual circumstance that doesn't go our way. Life is even bigger than whole days or weeks that seem to be designed specifically to drag us down. Look, there are going to be times when we're sad. Things are really going to throw us into a spin, but maybe exercising a little joy would help limit those moments to the ones that really deserve our sadness. Being happy isn't always the solution, but tapping into joy just might change our perspective on some things and empower us for a little more happiness. Happy and sad will certainly come and go in our life, but being aware of what gives us joy and recognizing that life is bigger than the things that don't go our way just might keep us grounded and improve our outlook.